Hi you guys, it's Juliana here. Welcome to another video. So in this video, you guys, I'm going to um, kind of just walk through the steps and um, do this Bible journal entry um, on Hebrews 6 and 19. And I'm going to just sketch it out literally from beginning to end. Um, and I'm not going to really teach on how to do a Bible entry just because I, I really don't know how to teach illustration. I don't know how to teach drawing. Um, I, I mean, I, I'm in awe of those people who can, um, but I'm not one of those people. And I thought I would share this video because I do love doing Bible journaling and I love seeing those videos that, um, you know, like you see like a time lapse of somebody like creating something and kind of see it from you know it's like Genesis stages to the end of it so this is basically what this is um so a couple of video videos ago I walked you guys through like a bible journal tour and kind of the entries in that my bible journal well this is the same exact um bible that I'm drawing in right now um that's why the page on the left side is already decorated um, from another entry um, that I completed, I think a couple, like a year ago or so. I'm not sure, I date the pages, but um, as I'm doing this voiceover, I just don't know what the date is on that specific page. So the entry that um, I chose for this specific um, Bible journal, um, entry is, or so, sorry, the scripture that I chose for it, um, was Hebrews 6 and 19. And it reads, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. And, um, before I got started, I kind of, um, outlined that verse with my pencil and eventually I'm going to draw, draw over it and color it over it. But I, I just... I kept that there because I wanted to keep, um, I wanted to kind of just keep highlighting that verse throughout the entry and I'm constantly kind of thinking about it and really just really, really thinking about it. But, um, I think before I even started this entry and, um, and that's why she has like an anchor on her shirt and it's above the, her heart, um, and her little outfit is kind of like a, it's the version of a sailor's outfit, you know, like with the stripes and all that kind of like a sailor's cap if it was a top, basically. So it kind of has like a sailor theme. But um, basically, this kind of came about when, um, honestly, y'all, I got to a point where I was just like thirsty for something. Does that make sense? Like, I would just turn to certain things and I found that like internally, emotionally and mentally, like they weren't fulfilling. And I was just like really frustrated and just really feeling like, man, I do the same, like these same activities and they usually bring me so much joy and happiness. And now they're kind of like, blah, I don't want to do it. Um, but I was looking for something and it was on a specific day I don't know but I just began to like actually just read more of my bible like I would just start reading more of it even if I didn't really understand what it was saying and for me I am I am more of a um visual learner than I am anything else so for me I can't just read the bible I have to read and copy it down because that's how it will sink in. I can't just like look like it, it's just the way I learn. <laughs> I've learned over many years. That's the most effective way that I actually digest and read and process um, things. So I was um, with my little iPad. I was writing and reading, kind of copying the words down and I started to feel better and like more fulfilled. And it, and it kind of came from the inside. Like I could feel it on the inside. Like I was just feeling a lot better, a lot happier, a lot cheerier. Cheerier is not a word I, I, 
I just made it a word now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cause it might come out later, but I just started feeling better. Kind of like I was fed in a way, you know how like you like don't eat for a while and then you get hangry, like hungry and angry. Well, that's how I felt like internally. Like I just felt like very hangry inside, like just very irritable. Like anything could set, set me off. You know what I'm talking about? So I just started like more so kind of reading the Bible and I felt like I was like actually getting kind of like nourishment than I would from like anything else. And so I kind of was like, dang, I guess this is like, you know, like Jesus is more, is really an anchor for my soul. Like he really, it like, it's really important that I kind of like stay grounded and stay in the word. And it's not so much like a now and again type of thing. And it really wasn't an hour and again, but it, I felt like I needed it more. You know what I mean? Um, so that's where this entry came from. It came from like a need in me thinking like, oh man, this is validation. Like God, you know, like, um, Jesus is an anchor for my soul. And so then it started like that. Then I was like, oh, there's a verse, like a scripture that kind of like anchor for my soul. Like that there's something that kind of comes along with that. And so then I looked that up, I like Googled it. Um, nothing, it wasn't anything profound like that or anything like that, but I just Googled it and I was like, oh, okay, I want to do a Bible journal on this verse here. And then I just prayed over it and was like, you know, just, um, like asking the Lord to help me with the Bible journal entry. What does it look like? Where, where do I go from here type of thing? And, um, this is kind of like what came up and what's, um, kind of formed um like it, it, in my head kind of I start off with an idea and then I go with it um this is basically what kind of came out of that um situation in in a way so right now I am just um focusing on the skin tone and coloring that in and I think it takes me, I should say, probably about like six or seven pencils um, to do skin tone. I didn't realize until I think I started Bible journaling and just kind of like along this journey journey of kind of creating um, these pictures, how much of a stickler I am for skin tone and getting it right or trying to almost get it right or just getting it to be as, I wouldn't say as realistic, but just closest to real shades um like as possible but um yeah so that's what I'm doing right now is first focusing on her lower area like her chest shoulder neck area and then I'm going to focus on the face afterwards So now when I come back to do the face, I realize there had been, there's been some bleeding that happened on the page. Um, I think that scrap piece of paper behind me was wet at one point. And when I closed the Bible, like some ink had bled onto the page that I'm working on now. So I left a stain on her forehead. There's really no, it's some sort of ink that got through. So um, there's really nothing I can do about that, but just kind of color around it. Um, so that wasn't intentional at all. Um, and these kind of things happen, you know, when you're working with 
a very thin sheet of paper. I mean, it's still Bible paper. It's thicker than just your everyday Bible because this Bible is created to be um, written in, but it's still thinner than, you know, your your um, everyday letter, nine, nine or eight by 11 um, paper. So just keeping that. So like with that in mind, things like that happen bleeding and, and stuff like that, but not often, but yeah, sometimes it happens. After coloring, um, the, uh, top part of her outfit, um, kind of like that red sailor, um, look, I wanted to do the rest, the body of the shirt in like a white with navy blue stripes, um, but white ink, was not working on this paper even though this paper is kind of like a manila yellow um color it, just white pen and white ink wasn't working so I just went to white acrylic paint and went through um and I'm kind of um painting between these lines um that I've already kind of identified the straight lines with the ruler earlier when I was sketching um for the for the blue lines there's nothing really um, deep about this outfit other than it um, goes to that kind of sailor anchor theme. Um, yeah. So once I was done with their outfit, I just felt like there was something missing. Um, many times when I do the Bible journal, I really want to incorporate Jesus in it as much as possible. Um, like a picture of him or something like that, like his hand or something. Maybe some of you guys caught in like when I was sketching it that I tried to draw a hand, but it just wasn't, it didn't feel right. It, it seemed like weird. So I wanted to put him in here, but there was just... It just, there was nothing that like made sense. So, um, I just kind of kept going with the, um, that nautical theme and created this rope feature, um, around, um, around the, 
body of this girl and um i wanted to you know create like a separate page i was going to insert a page and then continue the illustration through that and have god on the you know in there and didn't work it just see that little paper there on the left side um that was going to be the continuation and it was like this great idea but nope didn't work didn't work um didn't look good wasn't working so i just um kind of kept the rope in there um and attached it and it's a little harder um and then just from like an artistic standpoint like um i love this rope but where the red is on the shirt um it's made with it it's um colored in with like these gel pens that are not necessarily for art they're just gel pens i get them from staples um and i love these gel pens i actually use them to actual journal and you know like write in my journal they're writing pens but they can't be colored over with color pencils so that part um is kind of um or i shouldn't say they can't it's just a little harder um and i won't be able to cover it up and so I cover color over it just a little bit, but it kind of looks like it's a little bit transparent um, on the rope that's attached to the anchor that's on the heart of the girl. And um, this picture is not necessarily like a, a self-portrait or a picture of myself. It it's not me, um, but it's just like a, a woman um, that's there. So yeah, I'm adding the um, the rope. I hardly ever do that I hardly ever add stuff to it but you know if I'm feeling it like later then um then I would also I should let you guys know that this entry um was created over a, or over like a significant amount of time I think um I started it in late January and then ended it and finished it in April so I kind of come back to it um over and over again and like let it sit and um i come back to it sometimes i'll i'll start it at one point especially an entry and then i'll come back to it and i'm like i hate it oh my gosh i just want to i want to um not finish it i just want to throw it away and some entries i have done that i just not i have finished them or i just wasn't feeling it or maybe at the time between the time that i started the entry and when i come back to it um I'm just in a different like place and I, I, don't, I don't really feel what I'm creating at the time. So, um, but mostly this is just about kind of like quiet time. Um, and yeah. And then lastly, I'm going, going to put the verse in on a piece of paper and actually put that on, um, on the Bible, on the journal entry. Um, and that's because, you know, the actual verse is covered up with this picture. And so I'm going to put that um, in the Bible entry as well as the la very last thing I do is date the entry. So I date the entry that I finished the entry. So I started in like January or something like that, but I ended it and finished it in April. So um, that's what is um, going on right here it you guys for the for this video um like if um please give a thumbs up if you like this video comment below if you know you've ever tried bible journaling or want to get into bible journaling and subscribe if you would like to see some more videos um from me coming up in the future bye guys